Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is January 2nd, and I have the day off. I will not be going back into the salon until January 4th. I am trying to decide what to wear today. I'm trying to decide what to wear. Sometimes it's hard or difficult for me to decide what to wear because I'll be doing different things during the day. It's not that difficult when it's time to go to work. It's not that difficult when it's time to go to church. Well, I won't say that either. But in trying to determine what I'm going to wear during the day, and this day especially, I was going through a few things and I realized that I have been influenced by several people and that there are some things that I purchase that I purchased just because it looked good on them. I was looking for something similar to that and they helped me to make up my mind in whether or not to purchase it. And so I want you to keep watching to see some of the things that I purchased as a result of mostly Instagram and YouTube influencers. Not only am I influenced in what I wear sometimes, what I've purchased, but in the things that I do. There are people that have influenced me to take better care of myself. And I am applying that in my life. So keep watching and see my wardrobe changes and who influenced me. Keep watching. So keep watching. Just keep watching. But before I do that, I want to say thank you to the subscribers who are already looking at this video. Thank you to the ones who will look at it further down the road. Thank you for your support, your compliments, sharing, just interacting with me. Thank you so much for helping me to build this channel. And if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. I have always wanted a Chanel like look sweater or jacket and i purchased this sweater by urban revivo or revivo as a result of watching a video by politics and fashion i love this sweater i purchased two but one was too small and I gave it to my granddaughter. She loved it as well. As a result of me purchasing this sweater, my younger granddaughter, Nevea, also chose a dress by Urban Revival for her Christmas present from me. And she was absolutely gorgeous. Politics and fashion influenced me to purchase this even though i've seen other youtubers wearing these tops keep watching now this black dress that i'm wearing and i could not reach all the way back up back down to zip it up i'm here all alone and my husband's not here to help me zip this i thought that i had purchased this to wear to the christmas party and if you notice, the tag is still on it because I chose to wear a different dress. And I will show you the dress that I did wear to the party. 
and also put a link to the video where I wore that dress. This dress I was influenced to purchase by the team of Mommy and Moscato's. I'll put the exact link somewhere here in the video. But when I put this dress on, I decided not to wear it. While I was trying this dress on, you know, I decided I didn't know if I was going to even keep it. And I haven't made that decision yet. Please tell me in the description box whether I should keep this dress or not. Notice that I still have on the tag. I think it's kind of cute. And I tried it on just a few minutes ago with my Urban Revival sweater. And I think I like that. I can keep it open or I could button it. And I probably depends on what, if I keep it and what I wear it with, I could still wear it with these boots. Notice that I'm just keeping these booties on for all of my styles instead of changing my shoes or I could wear it with some black pumps. But I think this look is pretty cute. but I haven't made my decision yet. And then I'm gonna try on another jacket for you to see. Now this jacket is by Peter Nygaard. I haven't looked it up, but I thrifted this leather jacket. And I think this is a pretty nice all black look. But you know I want you to tell me what you think your opinion matters to me. And now back to the dressing room. Now this dress, believe it or not, is a Walmart dress. It came with this tie belt. And this is the dress that I wore to my husband's class Christmas party. I didn't wear the belt. You know, I wish this belt had pockets, but don't we all? I wore black pumps when I wore this dress to the party. That was my first time wearing this dress. And I really like it a lot. I was influenced to buy this dress by Park Avenue. Ashley Parks of Park Avenue. Now, when she wore this dress, she suggested that we could switch out the belt. And that's what I did. And I wore black pumps. And to, you know, tie in the black pumps with the dress, I wore this belt. The belt added a little bit of texture to my outfit. And I enjoyed it. This is what it really looks like close up. She also suggested that I could wear a different color belt. And notice I said she suggested that I could wear a different color belt as if she was just talking to me. And so at first I tried this belt, but decided against it. It's the same kind of belt. Never, I've never worn this one yet, so it's not stretched at all. And it has a stretch material in the back of it.
but if I were to wear this belt, I probably would wear these Banana Republic shoes to go with this better, or my Cole Haan pumps. It's not the same color exactly, but it's in the color palette. But I really like this dress, and I know I have a lot of wares to get out of it. I'll be right back. Now this is a sweater dress, knit. And though I like this dress a lot, I have not worn it yet. And I like the style of the dress. I like the feel of the dress as well. I will definitely have to wear wonderful shapewear under this dress. And I feel like I, I should be with my husband when I wear this dress, if you know what I mean. It shows just about everything I got. If I got bumps and lumps, it's going to show that as well. <laughs> but one thing I don't like about the dress is that the dress, the... Let's say that the material looks like it's been... It's not, it's not that smooth. You could mistake the the texture of it for for pillage or piling on the sweater but other than that I like it I do believe I'm going to keep it I like the swing down at the bottom of this dress as well I like it and because of the sleeves I can't see me wearing a jacket with it but I, I think I like it, and I think that I am going to keep it. Yeah. I do. But this is a Walmart dress as well. And maybe I was expecting just a little bit too much. This is a full leather pleated skirt that I purchased. And right now I can't think of if I ex if I purchased it from Express, New York and Company, or where. But I will put that here or in somewhere in the description box. But I was influenced to purchase this skirt by Karen Britchick. Sometimes I love her style. And this skirt, I just love it. And I have to pull out another skirt that I purchased uh, that is also full leather. And I'll show you that in the next clip. Now this skirt is a full wrap skirt. It's also full leather. And I was influenced to wear this skirt by my big sister, B. Ann Morton Thompson. She purchased this skirt for me and sent it to me in a box. Like she's always sending me something. And at first I thought to myself, what am I going to wear this with? And I started watching some videos and I thrifted this Ralph Lauren skirt, not knowing that it would be a perfect match. But I really love this outfit. I really do. I would even wear these boots with it. Keep watching. Now this complete outfit was influenced by Park Avenue. Both of these pieces were purchased from Lulu's. I love this sweater, the way that it feels. And it's just so soft. The reason I'm wearing it with this full leather skirt is because I feel like this full leather skirt is too tight. But it's a pencil skirt. It looks good. It does. 
But what I like about this sweater and this skirt together is that this skirt, this sweater, is that this sweater hides right back here where I do not want to show. Because it is a pencil skirt. And I have a standard. But I really like the way this outfit looks on me. I really do. And these sleeves. Oh yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. I've been influenced. <clears throat> these are some things that I probably never would have purchased had I not seen it on someone else and and loved the fit on them as well, knowing that it would go with my body type. I think I have more. Now I'm ending with this outfit. This is just a basic t-shirt with a pair of cabby pants and both of these were thrifted. I purchased this from TJ Maxx in my TJ Maxx haul during Vlogmas. But what I really want to show you that I've been influenced to purchase, or let's say I put it on my Christmas list in Elfster and my family visits the Elfster list of everyone in the family and they can choose to give you a gift or your name has been pulled and you're their Elfster person. Well, my Elfster person looked at my short list and decided that he would purchase me what I wished for that had been influenced by Audrey of the YouTube channel, Noble Strength. And it's the sneakers that I'm wearing. These are some Puma sneakers. When I looked at them on her channel that she was wearing them, and she also has it in red, I decided that I would put that on my Elfster list, and my nephew purchased it for me. Now, these shoes are very comfortable. They come off easy. And I'm wearing my little black socks with them. I'm going to give you a closer look of what they look like. And I thought that they were just me. They were just me. And so this is what I'm going to be wearing for the day. You have seen my outfit of the day. This is how easy these shoes go on. And you saw how easy they were to come off. And so this is my outfit of the day. I am going to wear this all black with this or I could have chosen another jacket, faux leather jacket that I was influenced to purchase by Ashley Park of Park Avenue. In the comments, please tell me which outfit you like the best. Should I wear this all black with the faux leather because it's a little bit warmer today and I don't have to wear another cover up. Actually, I think this is kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You tell me which outfit of these last two where I switched out the jackets. Should I wear this TJ Maxx jacket by C by one or should I wear this faux leather I call this a shacket because it looks more like a shirt by Gabrielle Union it's up to you